Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our Monday podcast. 15 minutes podcast without data. If you are watching me on WhatsApp especially, praise the Lord. Remember, we started this series of teaching from Wednesday, which I thought I'd be able to round up on Friday series, but it had to spill over to Monday series. And today, I'm going to be running up that podcast. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen, from the Wednesday and Friday podcast, I proved to us that Paul made a statement in Romans 10, 17. And the statement started with the word, so then. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So then. You can't start a statement with the word so then. If I come to you and say, so then, X is 10. You'll be confused. But if I come to you, I say, listen to this. I say, 0 plus X equals to 10. So then, X is 10. Now you can relate to that because there's a statement before the so then. So the statement before so then is Romans 10, 16. In Romans 10, 16, Paul was bringing out, bringing in an argument, which of course started from verse 10, but we don't need that. In verse 16, he said, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report. So then, faith commit by reporting not by hearing because the same greek word translated report in 1016 is the same greek word translated report yes, so translated hearing in romans 10 17 but the argument in romans 10 17 is not sorry the argument in romans 10 16 is not about hearing the argument is about report who had believed our report so then faith comment by reporting and reporting by the word of god and i told her that even young literal translation brought it out in its own translation so then faith is by a report and the report through a saying of god did you get that now so romans 10 17 is supposed to read like this so then faith coming by reporting and reporting by the word of god and i said to us in the last two podcast that what i'm trying to do is to show you how you can boast your faith because romans because romans 12 3 says god has dealt to every man the measure of faith the same way people are surviving covid 19 because they have body immunity that god has dealt to every man god has dealt to every man body immunity is our body immunity that keeps us from falling sick when your body immunity is low, then you can hardly attack an infection. But when your body immunity is superb, you can easily fight back an infection. So when people caught COVID-19, what they simply did was to boost their immer- is to boost their immunity for them. And once their immunity is boosted, then their perceived immunity fought, fought the virus and killed the virus. And then after that, they can be treated for any other thing. Now, listen to this. What you need to do when your faith cannot accept what Christ has finished is to boast your immunity. And I said to us, the only way you can boast your immunity is to know the difference between report and hear. And I show us in the last podcast that the word report is more energetic than the word hearing. And I said to us, and I gave us an illustration of five dogs who travel in a car and two dogs are in the front and there are three dogs at the back and the one at the back one of them is your own and the one of your own just like i'm in the part in this driver's seat there's another dog here and there are three dogs at the back and then but the one at this door away from the driver is your dog now the first report came and said the dogs died all the dogs died in the accident your faith that your dog is alive is zero that is a report now the second report came and said one dog survived now your faith has increased to 20 percent now you cannot pray because they say a dog is alive and you are praying that god should make your dog to be the one that is alive why because the second report increased your faith 
Now, what did the second report say? It said one dog died. One out of five. That is 20%. Now, another report came, which is more precise. That one now said, one dog out of the three at the back survived, but the two in the front died. Now, the possibility that your dog is alive is one over three. That's about 35%. You see, your faith increases with report, not with hearing. No, no, no. Your faith does not increase with hearing. Your faith increases with the report. Now, the fourth report now came and said, a dog sitting away from the driver at the back, that is, to the right, away from the driver, at sitting at the passenger's, the, from the front passenger seat at the back, close to the door. The door got open and the door was fling out and the dog, is and the dog is alive. Now, precisely made you to know that that dog that is alive is your faith. So, the, 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 the faith that your dog is alive is under percent. In fact, you will stop praying because now your faith is under percent. So that is how our report affects your, your faith and boosts your faith. Did you get it now? So that's why I said, that's why I said, the word in Romans 10, 17 is not hearing. The, 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 the Greek word translated here and there is the same Greek word translated report in verse 16. But verse 16 is connected to verse 17 because verse 17 started with the statement so then. So it means that we can't read verse 17 in isolation of verse 16. So we have to read verse 17 together with verse 16. So if you are reading verse 17 from verse 16, then we cannot substitute report, which is the Greek word, in, in the, the Greek word, the translation report for the Greek word hearing for the for the English word hearing. No, it's the same Greek word translated report in Romans 10 16 that is translated re, re, uh, hearing in Romans 10 17. So we must have to read them the same way. So Paul didn't say who had believed our hearing. Paul said who had believed our report. So the translator couldn't translate that Greek word re, hearing because it will make no sense of the whole thing. So the translator who had believed our report, not who had believed our hearing. So in verse 10, in verse 17, they should retain it by saying so then faith comment by reporting and reporting by the word of God. Then they should also retain it in verse 18 where Paul said, where Paul also said, but I say, have they not reported? Very, yes, verily, their sound went into the Air, that is the sound of their report went into the into the, into all the earth and their word of their report unto the ends of the world hallelujah and i said to you when 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 you listen to people who spend enough time studying god's word digging deep into god's word when they speak to you it boosts your faith it boosts your faith if your faith for your healing is weak if your faith for your prosperity is weak, if your faith for your breakthrough is weak, then you need, you need to get another preacher. As at the current preacher now. That doesn't mean leave your church, leave your pastor. No, it just simply means you need to get more materials. Probably watch people like Kenneth Copeland, uh, Clifford Dollar, Andrew Womack, Someone like me too, who spent time teaching God. There are several people who spend time studying God's word, who just don't go on the screen or who just don't write nonsense. Even when your family marriage is not working, go and look for teachers, not people who, just, who teach mystic. No, 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 no. People who teach mysteries because, the, because marriage is is the relationship between Christ and the church and it's a mystery that's what Paul said you need to listen to people who teach the mystery of marriage not the mystic of mar of, of not the myth of marriage it is when you listen to people who teach the mystery of marriage it will boost your faith in your marriage and to make it work now listen to this if you read Romans 10, 17, in Amplified Version of the Bible. I will read from both Amplified and, 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 and New Living Translation. In New Living Translation, it says, So faith comes by hearing. Of course, now we know it's reported. So then faith comes by hearing. That is, hearing the good news about Christ. The good news about Christ. So 
it is not just hearing no so faith come by reporting that is reporting the good news about christ so he says, so, so 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 that's what i'm talking about so you don't need motivational speakers to boast your faith no 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 no. you don't need motivational speakers to boast your faith if motivational speaker boasts your faith it will not work but listen to me if people who have stopped who have studied deep things about Christ who have studied the Bible said by his stripes you are healed now they know more than 1st Peter 2 24 they've studied deeper they've studied deeper into the healings how did Christ obtain the healing what did Christ go through and they're able to analyze and give you in-depth teaching about what Christ have done about your healing they are they teach it or they preach it they what they are communicating is a report it's not motivation before you know what is going on your faith for healing will begin to manifest you will not be able to assess the healing just like i gave you an illustration about the five dogs in a transport in a, 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 a on a journey you know I'm talking about now. Now the reporter, the, the, what changes the value of our faith was on the reporters. The, the first reporter didn't do any diligent work. The second one didn't go deeper. The third one didn't go deeper. But the fourth one went all the way. There are teachers of the world. There are preachers of the world who are going deeper every day. The deeper they go and communicate to you the more they boast your faith and once your faith is boosted you can assess healing you can assess prosperity in the book of second corinthians 8 9 the bible says, for you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that even though he was rich he was rich but for your sake he became poor so that you through his poverty might be rich now you need deeper understanding deeper revelation from that verse that you have been hearing the more you hear about it the deeper you go into it these passages are the passages first peter 2 24 second corinthians 8 8 9 are passages who told us that christ has made us rich and christ has made us healed has already make us healthy but just like new living translations translated romans 10 17 so faith comes from reporting i'm not going to use here and again from reporting that is reporting the good news about christ so that is why you you, you look for people who teach christ not people who just speak words who teach christ you must boast your faith in the finished work of christ now if you read from amplified version of the bible you say so faith comes from hearing now you know i've told you i'm going to be putting report now so faith comes from reporting what you see you can see amplified version try to adjust it he says so faith comes from hearing he said what is told what is told is a report so in other words so faith comes from what is told that is report that is report and what is reported comes by the preaching of the message concerning christ concerning christ hallelujah so these three episodes please go over the three of them again they will help you to boast your faith when your faith is not working for your healing god has dealt to every man the measure of faith if faith comes faith leaves so when faith has left you like older people who cannot who don't have enough self-immunity to attack COVID-19 so what do those people do they boast their self-immunity for them so what you need to do get good materials when you are struggling to get healed don't spend your lifetime reading books on money read books on health pick materials that go deeper get okay, a go deeper that go deeper listen to me when you are able to get the deepest minister it will affect your faith your faith will be boosted that is what i meant by effortless faith
But as long as you are still struggling to get healed, you are still struggling to get healed, stop struggling. Go and boost your faith. How? Get more materials. Watch television series that teaches on healing. Get, look for teachers. Look for churches. Look for meetings that are holding series on healing. Once it boosts your faith, the healing will jump out. You know why? Because Christ has already healed you. You just need to boost your faith to be able to accept the healing. That's why I say you don't need faith in God to be healed. You need faith in yourself. So when your faith is not making it, go and boost it. How? Spend time in that area of your life. God bless you for watching this series on effortless faith. Thank you so much. I will see you in our Wednesday podcast. From me here, I want to say Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you. I will see you on Wednesday podcast.